हाय वेलकम टू द एट्थ लेक्चर ऑफ द चैप्टर आयोनिक इक्विलिब्रिया टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ए सिंपल बट इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट पीएच स्केल नाउ सी द पीएच स्केल वाज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय एस पी सोरेनसेन इन 1909 जीरो नाइन एंड वी ऑल नो व्हेरी वेल दैट द पी एच स्केल मेजर्स द एसिडिक और बेसिक नेचर ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस इन एक्वियस सोल्यूशन सो इफ वी हैव एन एक्वियस सोल्यूशन ऑफ ए सब्सटन्स व्हेदर दैट सोल्यूशन इज एसिडिक इन नेचर और बेसिक इन नेचर और न्यूट्रल इट इज डिटरमाइंड बाय यूजिंग द पी एच स्केल नाउ let us start with definition of ph so ph is the negative logarithm to the base 10 of the molar concentration of hydrogen ions present in solution and it is written as ph is equal to minus log to the base 10 of concentration of h plus ion so uh, many students when uh, write the definition or when uh, say the definition of ph they forget to mention that to the base 10 so when we uh, write the definition of ph it is important to write that the negative logarithm to the base 10 so to the base 10 it is also the important part of definition so what is ph the negative logarithm to the base 10 of molar concentration of hydrogen ions present in solution therefore ph is used the to indicate the hydrogen ion concentration okay now many students have a question that what is the full form of ph so the full form of ph is potential of hydrogen or power of hydrogen so uh, by measuring the ph or ph gives us the hydrogen ion concentration it means that it gives us the potential of hydrogen or power of hydrogen so this is the full form of ph now again one question arises that why ph scale ranges from 0 to 14 so it is very well known that the minimum scale of ph is 0 and maximum scale is 14 okay so the overall ph scale ranges from 0 to 14 now why that is the question so to give answer of this question we have to consider initially one molar solution of strong acid so this is one extreme so at one extreme we are considering one molar solution of strong acid for example hcl hcl is a strong acid and if we take its one molar solution in that solution it undergo ionization to form h plus and cl minus in that solution the molar concentration of h plus is 1 mole per liter as the solution is one molar our acid is strong acid therefore it it is a strong electrolyte therefore it undergo complete ionization therefore molar concentration of h plus is 1 mole per liter now we know that ph is equal to negative log to the base 10 of concentration of h plus ion so put the value of molar concentration of h plus ion which is 1 okay so the ph is equal to negative log of 1 and we know that log of 1 is 0 so ph becomes 0 so the minimum range of ph is 0 okay so to explain this we have considered or we have taken one molar solution of strong acid so this is one case now in second case we have to take one molar solution of strong base for example naoh so in first case we have considered strong acid now in second case we are going to consider strong base and our solution is one molar solution of strong base okay now that naoh undergo ionization to form na plus and oh minus okay now in that solution the molar concentration of oh minus it is 1 mole per liter 
when we considered hcl in case of hcl the molar concentration of h plus was 1 mole per liter now we have base that is naoh sodium hydroxide so the molar concentration of oh minus it is 1 mole per liter but here we are interested in molar concentration of h plus so molar concentration of oh minus it is 1 mole per liter but what is but what is the molar concentration of h plus so we have to calculate it now see we know that the molar concentration of h plus into molar concentration of OH minus is equal to Kw and Kw is the ionic product of water. We know that the ionic product of water is 1 into 10 raised to minus 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. So we have substituted here that value and in case of NaOH we have uh, here obtained the value molar concentration of OH is 1.0. Okay. So from this equation, we can calculate the molar concentration of H plus. So that one, when it goes to the opposite side, it uh, cannot make any difference to the uh, that one into 10 raised to minus 14. Okay. So that one into 10 raised to minus 14 remains as it is. So it is the molar concentration of H plus. So in case of NaOH, the molar concentration of OH minus it is one mole per liter but molar concentration of H plus is 1 into 10 raised to minus 14. Now again we have to calculate pH. So pH is the negative log to the base 10 of concentration of H plus ion. So we have put the value 1 into 10 raised to minus 14 here. So it becomes minus log of 1.0 plus log of 10 raised to minus 14. So it is equal to minus in bracket log of 1 is 0 minus 14 it comes here into log of 10 and we know that log of 10 is 1 so minus in bracket minus 14 into 1 finally it gives us pH is equal to 14 minus minus becomes plus so pH is equal to 14 so this is an another extreme at one extreme we have minimum range that is 0 and another extreme we have maximum range range that is 14 so 0 to 14 so this is the proof of why pH scale ranges from 0 to 14. So in uh, many examinations, uh, this question is asked why pH scale ranges from 0 to 14. Students know that the pH scale ranges from 0 to 14, but they are unable to explain why. So we have to explain it with the help of these two examples. In first case, we have to consider the one molar solution of strong acid for example HCl and in another case we have to consider a one molar solution of strong base that is NaOH. So we can explain the minimum range 0 and maximum range 14 by using these two examples. So this is the proof. Now see when the pH is 7 when we take the pH of any solution if it is 7 then our solution is neutral okay now if it is less than 7 then our solution is acidic if pH is greater than 7 then our solution is alkaline or basic so in this diagram uh, some uh, substances are given uh, with their pH suppose battery acid it is more acidic lemon juice it has a pH 2 so all that pH values are given in this diagram okay now next poh now see it is defined as negative logarithm again to the base 10 of the molar concentration of hydroxyl ions present in solution so in uh, mathematical form poh is equal to minus log to the base 10 of concentration of oh minus so when whenever there is a to the base 10 so we don't write it whenever there is a to the base e then we write it okay so here it is to the base 10 therefore we don't have to mention in it mathematical form but when we write the statement we have to include to the base 10. So definition of POH is it is defined as negative logarithm to the base 10 of the molar concentration of hydroxyl ions present in solution. Therefore pH is used POH is used to indicate the hydroxyl ion 
कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सो पी एच इज यूज टू इंडिकेट द हाइड्रोजन आयन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन वाइल पी ओ एच इज यूज टू इंडिकेट द हाइड्रोक्सिल आयन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ओके नाउ अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग द सम ऑफ पी एच एंड पी ओ एच इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन फॉर वॉटर एज वेल एज फॉर एनी एक्वियस सोल्यूशन एट ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस सो नॉट ओनली फॉर वॉटर बट फॉर एनी एक्वियस सोल्यूशन पी एच प्लस पी ओ एच इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन ओके सो इफ यू नो द वैल्यू ऑफ पी एच सो फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन वी कैन डिटरमाइन द पी ओ एच इफ यू नो द वैल्यू ऑफ पी ओ एच वी कैन डिटरमाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ पी एच फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन सो वी हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट पी एच प्लस पी ओ एच इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द पी एच स्केल सो इन द बिगिनिंग आई हैव सेड दैट द पॉइंट इज सिंपल बट इट इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट थैंक यू